We gotta do a game that Shy Guy says we gotta play. All because he says we gotta raise flags. Raise the same color flag as the Shy Guy. A is white, B is red. Why? The start button is red. Why can't we use that to raise the red flag? And there's no white button other than the Z button, which is gray. Or the control stick is a little more white, but alright. The Shy Guy will try to trick you by raising two flags at once, so be careful. No. <gasps> the longer this goes, the harder this will tend to get because Sagai will go faster than normal. Not so fast that you can't do this, but ooh, Mario, we lost. Sayonara! Oh, badass, you should go too. Come on, man. Lu Yoshi, sayonara. Get eaten by a piranha plant if you can find one. Wario, well, yeah, what are you doing? Th there you go. Finish. Yeah. Weird dancing animation. Alright. Cool. That's how they want to do the barrel dance. I'm not gonna question it. It's not like they can move being on in a barrel on water. If all they can do is just hump the barrel, that's all they can do. <laughs> oh my god. Why? You had a perfectly good blue space right over there. But no, you just decided to go here. And took a balloon boss. Bowser style. Everyone who loses, loses 20 coins. Oh dear. Everybody wants to be number one. If you're not number one, your coins will get taken. Okay. And the rest of the explanation is normal. Alright, come on. Thank God. Yeah. I was actually falling behind, but I was still able to catch up and win. Now for the results, Mario, Wario, and Yoshi, Lucy, 20 coins. Awesome! That's what you get, Mario, for landing on Bowser. Next time, go to a blue space. You'll like it. Trust me. Oh, well. Where do we go from here? I want to go that way. Also, there is a third warp pattern on this board, but nobody has been able to find Bowser yet, so I don't know if we can reach there in the next six turns, so... Oh no. We haven't gone up there yet. Or does that lead to... A star over there. Maybe that, maybe that warp over there to the left of the screen. Maybe that one goes to Bowser. Who knows? It's a guessing game at this point. Ah ha ha, Mario! Guess what? We get to take your coins. How do you like that? Oh wait, we haven't played the game yet. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna feel a headache in the morning. But what he's not gonna do is jump on our heads like I did last time. Okay, you guys hit him. I'll steal my coin back. This is a good thing to do when you're the human player. You get to be smarter. Work smarter, not harder. Hit him! Hit him! They get to do the work by hitting Mario. And I get to steal Finish. all his coins. Because that's how I roll. <laughs> 26 coins. Up to 65, which is now the coin star lead. 
heading into the final five turns. Oh, hello! I'm Koopa Troopa. There's very little time left. We're down to the last five turns. Oh my, how's the time? How's the plan? See what I mean, speech impediment? My words get beat up. I wonder what the standings are now. It's been the same as it's always been. Me in first. Wario second. Yoshi third. Mario last. With nothing. <laughs> he doesn't even have a single star because he lost to baby Bowser. And I just stole all his coins and Bassin casts. Oh, that's awesome. Are you going to give him coins? Nope, Yoshi will win. Oh, he doesn't give coins. Oh, well. Mm, who cares? Starting with this turn, all blue spaces and red spaces are worth twice as much. <gasps> so we can either gain or lose six coins. How frightful. This is truly amazing. This makes for an excellent chance for a comeback. At last, we've reached the final stage. Everyone keep your eyes on super stardom. And good luck. No. I will not. Alright, that one goes to start. Apparently. Okay, so maybe warp part warp pipe warp pattern one, maybe that one doesn't go to start. Huh. That's weird. Don't you just hate wearing glasses that the glasses will fog up or get smudgy when it's really warm in a room? Come on, AC, you're supposed to make it cool in here. Mm -hmm. Oh! Okay, where do I want to go from here? This one goes up here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I would get a chance time again, but do I want to risk that? Do I want to risk it? Oh hell, why not? Maybe this time I can actually time it so I can get my get stars from Wario. As long as it's not Mario, cause he doesn't have anything, let's be honest. Okay. Oh, come on! I have that. Alright. Mario! He's gonna win! No, he's not. He's gonna lose 20 coins to me because he's a nice guy. Don't you like being a nice guy, Wario? Yeah. Why did I get... Why did I get Wario? Why didn't I get Yoshi? <laughs> Ooh, that does mean that I get 69 coins. Also, Wario gets to go to Bowser with zero coins, and he gets... No, oh, good lord. I think Mario Party 1 is where Bowser is the most dangerous. Because he just traded Wario 10 coins for a star! Wow! I didn't even know that that happened. That was the first time that I've seen that happen. I never knew that. Wow, Bowser's a dick on the first Mario Party. Jeez. You better be thankful to him in the later Mario Parties. He got nice in the first game. Damn, he's mean. <laughs> God damn. No matter what you do, you lose a star. <laughs> All right, bowler over. Let's go bowling. The bowler uses to aim the cell while the people who who are pins try to jump away. <laughs> I was speaking into my glass here, my plastic glass cup, having a drink of water. Okay, warrior gets to aim the cell and throw the cell, which acts as a, as a bowling ball. And Mario, Yoshi, and Peach get to jump in different directions to try and dodge the cell. If the Koopa Trooper cell hits the edge of the lane, 
there's an electric sock and the game ends. Wow, Wario, that's a good target practice for you to do. Hit the electric lane. Hit the lane. You know you want to. Finish. You got one coin. That's nothing to write home about, dude. That's one coin. One measly coin. You didn't even get Mario or Yoshi. You got one stinking coin. <laughs> oh well. He's happy about getting something, I guess. Not. Stop going to Bowser. He. As long as it's not Revolution. Okay. Face lift. That. I wouldn't mind play If you don't get 90 points or more, you're gonna lose 30 coins. Everyone is gonna lose 30 coins, except me, because I'm the master. Maybe not, but still. If you don't get more than 90 points, Bowser will steal your coins. Careful, careful. I forgot to read the rest of the rules, because clearly we haven't played this game yet. Okay, so... Just the nose rises up and the eyebrows go out. There we go. Alright, perfect hundred. That is the perfect one hundred. And they are screwing around with the mouse, which you're not supposed to. The mouse doesn't move. Why are you moving the mouse? The mouse do not move. You're screwing up your chances. It's gonna be 88, 89, 87. What? That, mine should be 100. I don't care what you say. That, that's 100. But I was right though. They lost all their coins. That's good. All because you had to land on Bowser, even though I keep telling you not to. A blue space is perfectly fine. But no, you just... Next time you land on Bowser, don't have any coins. Don't have a star either, because apparently, Wario will tell you from experience, Bowser the dick if you have a star. So, be warned. Alright, how- I know that way goes to Bowser. I mean, boo. But do I want to, or do I want to find out where this goes? I don't know, maybe Mario and Yoshi will go that way? I kind of want to go to boot, because maybe then I can steal a star, you know? Decisions, decisions. And we got four turns left. So, hmm, choices, choices. Oh well, I'll go this way. I'll steal a star. Ten! Oh no! Well, you go back to start, so... Where are you gonna go from there? Back up there for some reason? Are you gonna go right? Or are you gonna land on Bowser again? Actually, it's a good thing he didn't. Cause he would've lost that fucking star. <laughs> oh boy. I still never knew that happened. Wow. It never happened to me because I never had that situation happen. And I never saw anyone else do that, land on Bowser in this game, with no coins and a star, so... Ugh. Coin block blast. What? <laughs> Coin block bash. Coins come out of these sturdy blocks when you break them. The person with the hammer can break them in one hit. Even though this is technically a four-player minigame, one player has a fucking hammer, so it's a one versus three. So move, swing overhead with A, Swing sideways with B, with the hammer, and then everyone else can jump and attack. If you get attacked, you will drop the hammer. Anybody can grab the dropped hammer. And that basically becomes a fatal forward. Even without the hammer. My! That's my coin bag, bitch! Oh, 
Stop landing on my head! Finish! Oh my god. I think I just got a money bag, but nothing else. Oh, I got two coins. But I didn't get the most. Mario got the most, because he hit me at the beginning of the game. Asshole. Hey, you, you stole my speed block. I still didn't get a block. I didn't get a single block. Why are you stealing from me? One coin. That'd be hilarious. Boo! Yeah, you too, boo. Boo! <laughs> Everyone wants to go up there for some reason, even though it doesn't really go anywhere. No more chance times! Oh! Where's it gonna go? Not to Bowser, I hope. Oh, you stupid! It's a good thing I didn't go back there. If I had gone left, I would have gotten my star stolen. I'm glad I didn't go that way. Oh, now, now watch. The warp that I'm going to did lead to Boo last time, but now that it's warp course 3, maybe this one that I'm going to is going to lead the Bowser. If it is, I'm going to be... Oh, come on. Of all the blocks, you give me flow? What about the plus block? I would have liked that, but no. I did get a block, but at least it's not a minus block. That's the positive, so. At least it's not minus. I don't lose any coins. I still get a blue space, even though I was kind of hoping to get a three there so I can get chance time, but oh well, I'll take it. Break the mountain of stacked boxes. You can find coins inside. Oh my. Why can't we have any of that in real life? We'd find plenty of money! Move, attack, and hip drop, 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 and jump. In the box mountain, there are also want blocks. Want blocks that bounce you back when you attack them. Are they really want blocks? Because if they're blue blocks, aren't they thwomp? Not want? I don't know. That. Kind of sounded weird to me, but all right. I guess it is kind of womp, womp block, because you don't see blue or gray. Finish. I don't think I got a money bag, but I did get quite a few coins. Ten coins, I'll take it. Why do you got twenty coins, you bastard? Give me some of that. Come on. Give me, a, give me a money bag, we'll split it 15-15. No, nah, oh, you suck. Oh my god! Why? 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 Uh huh. Hey! You don't get a 10 without my say so. You go back to start now, young man. Wait, you're not a man, you're an animal. Young animal, go back to start. Think about what you've done. Hello, Warplock. Go to Yoshi. Ha <laughs> ha! I don't get to move with the dice block though, but I'll take it. Three six coins and I gained like ten spaces, so... Yeah, that's fine. Alright, that goes there. I think that goes there every time. But these two, between Wario, I think they go differently every time. I could be wrong though, but the one that he went to, 
always goes the same, so. Hey, I wanted to play hot bob -omb. Why hot rope jump? We don't want to jump rope. Why? We don't want to do that. That's exhausting. I'd rather throw bob -omb at people. <laughs> the flaming rope spins and spins. Even more reason to go play hot bob -omb. We don't want to touch flame. Jump the rope without touching the flame. What did I just tell you? <laughs> the rope will gradually speed up. Why? That's ridiculous. It should not speed up. Yeah. If all of us get 20 jumps, then all of us win coins. But if one of us loses, if the first person touches the flame, then it acts like a one versus three mechanic where the losing player loses 15 coins and the rest of them gain five. So. Also, when you are jumping the rope, if it speeds up, it! you also want to tap A for doing a mini jump. You don't want to hold A if it's going real fast. Finish. Yep, we all win 10 coins, even though one of them should have lost. I got 106 coins! I could have stolen a star, but no. Someone had to land on happening space. Uh huh. You didn't hear what I said? Okay, good. I said, uh huh. Why, you didn't catch that? Is your ear not working? <laughs> but you don't get to play a one player minigame. You know what? I hope you get knocked off that tower. A stack of wood blocks come crashing down. Break the wooden blocks to get the chest. It is really warm in this room, I tell you. What? Yoshi beats Mario by one coin. You're gonna lose that immediately, dude. Alright, come on. Let me get to Boo. Please, for the love of... Really? Boo. Ooh, minus block. Good. You deserve that. That one goes there. Okay. I believe last time on Warp Course 2, the that warp went to the one to Wario's left. Treasure Divers. A four-player variant. Dive into the sea and bring up the treasure chests from the bottom. Press A to dive. Well, no crap. You'll start to drown if you are underwater too long. Come back to the surface for a breath of air once in a while. Once in a blue moon. You'll be long dead by then. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Gimme these treasure chests. Wario, you do not deserve that. Oh my god. You don't deserve that. Oh my god, I could have grabbed that. Nice, yes, 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 Mine, 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 Uh-oh, Wario and Mario are gonna die. Oh, no, the screen faded to black. They're saved. <laughs> wow. That was, that was the last turn already? Boo. 
The set number of turns have ended, so now I'll announce the results. Who will be the superstar? I apparently missed so. The person with the most stars is the winner, so first let's take a look at everybody's stars. And I got two, Mario got one, Yoshi and Mario lost a star. Well, I don't think Mario ever got a star in this board. And Yoshi lost a star from Bowser when he went to visit him. And Wario lost a star because he landed on Bowser's space. Stop blinking, Yoshi. <laughs> and he lost a star by landing on Bowser with no coins. And Bowser opted to trade coins for a star. Even though it wasn't 20 coins, so... Wario got whipped off. <laughs> he didn't get refunded. Yep, I got a lot of coins. Coin star is mine! First is the Game Star. The, this award goes to the player who collected the most coins in many games. The Game Star Award goes to Peach! Yeah, yeah how do you like them apples? Next is the Coin Star Award. This award goes to the player who collected the most coins throughout the game. That. And, uh, last is the Happening Star. This award goes to the player who landed on the most question mark spaces. And no doubt, it goes to me. The guy landed on three. Wario got two, Mario got one. And Yoshi got one too. Now for our final announcement. Our winner or superstar is... Whoever that is... Peach! Not Princess Peach, it is Peach. Congratulations, Peach! How dare you win this board? Now that the stars have been collected, what will happen on this board? Star. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. Oh no! Mario ended the game with 50 coins, but no star. If he could have gone to Boo, he could have stolen a star. I got all the bonus stars. I swept the stars. I got the minigame star. I knew I won the most there. I got the coin star, and I got three happening spaces, so I got the happening. So, yeah, all in all, a very good round of Mario Party. Let's see the detailed results. Yeah, man. 138, okay, I won more than I thought I did, but alright, that looks good. Mario only got 47. God damn, you suck. You didn't even get 50. You ended the game with 50, though, that's something. 12, 13, 14, 15. Wow, Yoshi won the most blue space. 2202, so 2022. Yoshi didn't land on a single red space. Unfortunate. And here we go, 3210. I got the most happening spaces. Yoshi didn't land on one. I thought he did, but apparently, no, he got, he went to Bowser, but he didn't land on a happening space. So, yeah. Four one-player minigames, Wario didn't play one. Four chance times, I couldn't... I couldn't get the result that I wanted, but... I was able to get 20 coins from Wario, at least. And Wario was a dick when he made me and Yoshi trade stars. Yeah. And four mushroom spaces, Yoshi was the only one that got the poison mushroom, though. 
and as far as Bowser spaces, I didn't land on one, so ha 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 ha! Yeah. Okay, so the number of coins that goes into the bank is all my 129 coins. But, if I had gone and made the rest of them human players, I would have gotten all their coins and stars as well. So, what win coins or lose coins? What will it be? Find out by pressing A. So this is the casino box, so we gotta see if we can either double up or get a zero, in which case nothing happens, or lose half of the coins that we collected. So 129, so 130 divided by two is 65. So 129 means 60, 64.5. Man, I'm good at math. Okay. Oh! God damn it. Ah. ah well. We got our stars back, but the stars don't go above a hundred, so those stars are pointless. We don't get we don't get to see the coin star coin star stars go up above a hundred. And here's the credits of the game, but we're not gonna see that just yet because of the fact that we got six more boards to go through. Yeah man, or seven. Seven boards, actually. Because in this game, each of the characters have their own board. So Mario has a board, Luigi has a board, etc. And uh, Bowser also has a board. Not Eternal Star, which is the board we last played. That's the board that he made last minute after he got the power stars from us, stole it from us. But his own board that he had originally, that he still has, is Bowser's Magma Mountain, which we will go to at a later point. But because I did Eternal Star first, which was because where I left off after playing this game a while ago, I guess we'll do the Bowser board last. Bowser's Magma, Magma Mountain, because in the other Mario parties that I'm playing, for Let's Play on board playthroughs, currently doing Mario Party 5, the Bowser boards are the last ones that I'm doing, so it makes sense in this game to do the same thing, Bowser board last. So yeah, let me know what you think of this video, what you think of the graphics with the Super 64 NM Classic, I think it looks a bit cleaner, obviously not the best that this N64 and Super 64 NM Classic can burst out. There is an Ultra HDMI type of N64, but that's too high in demand and too expensive for me to even get. And you can't even use the Super 64 adapter with it because it's just straight up HDMI out. So, yeah. So you're stuck with the jagged edges. No slick mode even available in Ultra HDMI, so... There you go. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Also, let me know what is your favorite board and what um, board soundtrack is your favorite. My favorite uh, board soundtrack, I think, is Wario's Battle Canyon, but that might change during this board playthrough that I'm doing. And I've always loved the credits music in this game the Option House music, the Room Underground music in this game. It's one of the minigame soundtracks, Underground. Uh, Bowser's theme, I think the first Bowser theme in this game compared to the later Bowser themes. This one is has always been my favorite and there won't ever be another Bowser theme that I will love more than this one. And that includes the Mario 64 Bowser theme. I just love Mario Party 1's Bowser theme so much. So yeah, leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss future updates and I'll see you next time for more. Later.